Snow on Halloween and Bart is here. Thank I you. I can remember, though, I, at the time I was living in St. Matthews, it's been several years ago, some kids were out and stuff. My kids were at home living, and that's like doing trick or treating. Yeah. I remember it's, uh, uh, we got the snow on Halloween then, but I don't know how many years ago that was there. Yeah. Well, I bet you are. No, it's. Ten? How long Maybe. do you think ten? How long do you think too long, too long ago it is? Well, yeah. the snow, I have snow on my roof now. Yeah. I got a little mistake of mine. <laughs> Barton County Schools, the Performing Arts Center, Pack has been packed within the house. Bart is here, and you have a lovely young lady with you. Miss Candace Rose from Central Harden High School is with us today. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, well, and, it's, yeah, and I like one of the emails that she sent. Today is Wednesday, and last week, what was your, let's see, I'm going to make sure her uh, microphone works. It's not going to answer this. You played a part in the Adams family last week, and what was your part? I was Wednesday Adams. Wednesday Adams. Da, 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 da. Was it fun? It was a great time. All right. Uh, I guess if I'd have been in it, he would have probably cast me as a puzzle. <laughs> I was thinking Uncle Fester. <laughs> Fester, yeah. Fester. Uncle Fester. Yeah. Uncle Fester, he's going to, Bart's already headed back to gun smoke day. Yes, yes. Well, let's talk to Candace about, uh, you know, being a part of the pack. Numerous shows you have seen. Name them. What have you been looking <laughs> Um, Off the seen, top of your head. <laughs> I've seen Cinderella, I've seen The Nutcracker, I've seen Les Mis, I've seen Annie Gets a Gun, and Macbeth, and The Wizard of Oz, and that's all I got off the top of my head. Right. <laughs> okay, pick your favorite out of it. Which would it be? Um, I'm thinking Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz is really good. I think my favorite was Annie Gets a Gun, though. Oh, really? Did you like to play Annie? I just, I, the actress who played Annie did a really good job. Yeah. Well, what have you participated in? In fact, I know we talked Wednesday uh, in the Adams Family. What else have you been a part of? Um, I did High School Musical. I did Dear Gina Jr., Willy Wonka Jr., 13, Chicago, Godspell, and Legally Blonde. Legally Blonde. Now, uh, we're going to get to Legally Blonde because I know she kind of likes that. And the fact that that's something, uh, you, well, you know, I, I've only seen Legally Blonde one time. It's been like bits and pieces. But, uh, and I can't think of the actress from the movie that played it. <laughs> she was, was she an attorney in in that motion picture? Yes. And that is something that she would like to do. That is true. And I got to get a lawyer for family law. That's pretty cool stuff. So you're probably interested uh, in you know whether it's like the judges' race that's going on right now too. And oh no, not at all. <laughs> no, you're, you're not into that right now. No, I'm not going there. Well, you, you just want to be an attorney. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. All right. <laughs> We'll get her law degree, and then we'll see about going into the political arena. We'll think about it. Okay. Well, your experiences so far from PAC, what have, uh, what have they brought to you, and how are they going to help you when you maybe go into law once you get into the higher learning? Well, with doing shows for PAC, whenever like you're in court, you have to present cases in front of people, and you have to you know, be confident in what you're saying, and you can't let the other side, no matter what they say, whether it's an attack on who you're defending, or maybe they try to make up like, well, her morals aren't really there. You have to have that confidence in yourself to say, you know, they're just trying to get to me. I know what I'm doing. So I feel like doing the pack and doing shows with the pack, it really helps build up my confidence to where whenever I am a lawyer and I am presenting those cases, it's not going to bother me. So you, what you're saying is that attorneys, when they do closing statements, they're just putting it on an act of court. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think she pleaded the fifth on I, I think she possibly did. Well, uh, you know, why is PAC important to you? And how long have you been involved? I never even asked you that. Um, I've been doing shows with the PAC since I was in fifth grade. And okay. so now I'm a senior, so it's been a while. Um, but I feel like a lot of why the PAC is important to me is it's just I've spent so much time there and it's just become such like a comfort zone to me and you know when I get to the pack it's just like okay nothing else is going on I'm here it's okay everything's just chilled out versus going outside of the pack and everything is crazy there's so much stuff to deal with yeah, a, a safe place to just kind of be in a harbor for a while before you <laughs> get out into the world well good luck on the attorneys we'll, we'll, we'll be watching for you and uh, 